Hello everybody, my name is Niputu Intan Maharani and I am a social impact consultant. In this presentation, I will be presenting my study about mapping the poverty incidence in Bali, Indonesia and its determinants by using Geographic Information System or GIS. This presentation is targeted to the government of Bali, Indonesia to raise the awareness of the importance of GIS in mapping the poverty incidence. In this study, the percentage of poor people in Bali and its significantly associated variables as the result of regression slope tests are mapped by using GIS. Secondly, special layers such as points and lines that can be overlaid on top of the percentage of poor people thematic map are also analyzed. And lastly, the satellite image of Bali province is also analyzed in regards with poverty incidents. To generate the thematic maps, several tabular data are required, which in this case are obtained from statistics of Bali province. The first tabular data is the percentage of poor people by Regency and municipality in Bali. Several variables that are assumed to have an association with the poverty incidence are tested by using regression slope tests. And here is the significantly associated variables at 5% significant level, which are Human Development Index, Average Duration of Attending School, University Enrollment Ratio, Literacy Rate, GRDP per capita at current market prices, and Number of Classified Hotels. Map data are also required to generate the thematic maps. The first map data that is needed is the base map of Bali, with Regency boundary associated with it. Secondly, factor layers such as points and lines are also required, which in this case consists of points of interest that includes tourism, shop and amenities location points, road line and university location points. Thirdly, satellite image of Bali is also needed to provide an overview of the visual representation of Bali province. So now I will be showing you my QGIS workspace to generate the thematic maps. As I mentioned previously, several tabular data are required to generate the thematic maps. The first one here, I have the percentage of poor people. I also have the human development index. I also have the average duration of attending school. Then university enrollment ratio. Literacy rate. GRDP or Gross Regional Domestic Products and lastly I have number of classified hotels. So map data is also required to generate the thematic maps. So here I have the base map of Bali with the Regency's boundary associated with it and I also have several factor layers that can be overlaid on top of this base map which is points of interest university's points in Bali, and the road lines. So each of these tabular data will then be joined with the base map of Bali with Regency boundaries associated with it. So I have joined the percentage of poor people tabular data with the base map of Bali, which looks like this. And I also do the same thing with the significantly associated variables which is the university enrollment ratio, number of classified hotels, literacy rate, human development index, GRDP, and the average duration of attending school. To obtain the satellite image of Bali, I use Google Earth and type Bali in the search box here. And as you can see, the satellite image of Bali is provided, and then I save this image. Here is the thematic map of percentage of poor people in Bali. It can be seen here that the lowest percentage of poor people is 1.78% in Badung Regency, and the highest is 6.25% in Karangasam Regency. As mentioned previously, Human Development Index has a significant association with the percentage of poor people. 
from this map, we can see that the Regency with the lowest human development index is current as a Regency of 67.34%. Average duration of attending school is also significantly associated with the poverty incidence. From this map, Kalanasam Regency also has the lowest average duration of 6.31 years. From University Enrollment Ratio Somatic Map, it can be seen that only 6.16% of Kalanasam population that in the age of attending university which actually enroll in universities. From literacy rate thematic map, it can be seen that Badung Regency has the highest literacy rate of 99.81%. Meanwhile, in Kanangasam Regency, only 85.01% of its population that are able to read and write. Gross regional domestic products per capita also has a significant association with poverty incidence. It can be seen here that Bangli Regency has the lowest GRDP per capita of 30 million rupees. Meanwhile, the GRDP per capita in Baden Regency is more than 90 million rupees. Bali is popular because of its tourism sector. From the regression slope test, number of hotels is significantly associated with poverty incidence. From the map, we can see that Badung Regency has the highest number of hotels of more than 300 hotels. Meanwhile, the other Regencies such as Karangasam and Bangli Regency have less than 5 hotels. Here is a thematic map of poor people in Bali with points of interest being overlaid on top of this map. It can be seen here that most of the points are clustered in Badung Regency, Denpasar Municipality, and Ganyan Regency, which has a low percentage of poor people. Next, this is a thematic map with road lines. From this map, we can see that in south part of Bali, especially Denpasar Municipality and South Badung Regency, have a dense road compared to the other regencies. University enrollment ratio is significantly associated with the poverty incidence. From this map, the university points are overlaid and it shows that most of the universities are located in Denpasar municipality. Here is the satellite image of Bali province. From this image, we can see that Badung Regency and Denpasar municipality are densely built area which also has low percentage of poor people. Meanwhile, in other regencies such as Karangasam Regency, it is dominated with forest and volcano which has the highest percentage of poor people in Bali. Based on the analysis that has been conducted, Human Development Index, Average Duration of Attending School, University Enrollment Ratio, Literacy Rate, GRDP, and Number of Hotels have a significant association with the poverty incidence in Bali at 5% significant level. This means that to reduce the poverty incidence in Bali, the strategy can be enhanced by also focusing on the improvement on these significantly associated variables. For example, improve the Human Development Index Improvement Strategy, which includes encourage the people to keep their well-being to have a longer lifespan, encourage them to get more educated by finishing 12 years mandatory school duration and attending university or higher educational institution, ensure that all population are able to read and write, improve the RDP per capita enforcement strategy by education and training to allow people to produce more goods and services and obtain higher income, and also improve the quality of infrastructure such as good roads to provide better accessibility for businesses, and also to develop new tourism attractions that could lead to the increase of available job and increase of income. Thematic maps that are generated by using GIS in regards with poverty incidence and its determinants also can be used to provide a better geographic visualization of poor people percentage in each regency or municipality and the other variables that are significantly associated with the incidence of poverty. It allows relatively easy understanding of the data contents and also allows to easily detect patterns or trends of the data. Satellite image also provide a good overview of how the visual look of areas is and associate it with where most of the poor people live. And that brings us to the end. Thank you for your time and your attention.